Hi, my name is Eric Latender, and I am author of the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. In this video, I wanted to discuss understanding aggressive dog behavior, what you need to know, and how you can avoid it. One of the most distressing things that can happen to a dog owner is when the dog starts to show signs of aggression. Aggression can be extremely scary, and it can do great damage. I've seen it firsthand. I've been attacked by dogs uh, a couple of times, and each time it's shaking me right to my core. And I've been very nervous around dogs after I've been attacked. And the big thing is that when it comes to aggressive behavior, is that you have to understand that it happens for a couple of reasons, which I'll get into in just a few seconds. But more importantly, you have to know that dogs just don't bite because they feel like it. Aggressive behavior is always triggered by something. There's something that happens to the dog that triggers the aggression. So a lot of times I've been told, well, I just reached out to pet the dog and the dog bit me. Well, sometimes reaching out, your hand going over a dog's head is enough of a stimulus to trigger the aggressive behavior in the dog. So I'll get back to that in just a second, but real quick I wanted to talk about why dogs become aggressive. The first thing is that when a puppy is not properly socialized, they can become aggressive. You need to socialize your puppy around a lot of other dogs, people, places, sights, and sounds. The second reason is harsh training methods. If you do real harsh training with your dog, there's a good chance your dog will develop aggressive behavior. And the third reason is genetics. If you breed an aggressive mother and father, there's a good chance that the offspring will become aggressive. So when you're looking for a puppy, it's a good idea to see both parents before you take the puppy into your house. You should be able to go around the puppies with the mom there and the dad there, and they shouldn't show any signs of aggression towards you. So understanding that, you want to make sure that you choose the right puppy. Then you want to spend a lot of time reinforcing behavior. You don't want to spend a lot of time punishing behavior. You want to reinforce so that your puppy turns out to be a happy, well-adjusted, stable dog. Believe me when I say this, training methods are one of the number one reasons we have so much aggression in the United States today. When you take a puppy and you think about, okay, how are we going to have to punish him to stop him from doing this? We're going to have to punish him and we're going to have to put a prong collar, an electronic collar, and stop him from doing all these things. All that punishment adds up and eventually the dog becomes aggressive. What you have to understand is that all the behaviors that your dog does, like chewing on a shoe here, is just normal, natural canine behavior. And what we have to do is we have to manage, we have to guide, we have to teach the dog what's appropriate and what's not. And when we take the correct steps and we have patience and understanding, the puppy can turn into a very nice, safe dog to be around. And that's the main goal because, as I said, aggressive behavior in the United States is out of control. Hope this video has helped and thanks for watching.